Have you heard about Prince Harry's recent interview on Good Morning America? The royal landscape was recently set abuzz with Prince Harry's candid discussion about his father, King Charles III's health challenges, and the family's response. His frankness, a departure from the traditional royal discretion, has sparked a flurry of reactions, painting a diverse picture of public opinion. In the interview, the Duke of Sussex shared insights into his father's health, a topic that, until now, was largely kept within the royal family's private sphere. This openness, seen by some as a gesture of unity, has elicited a chorus of responses, each echoing a different tune. Supporters lauded Prince Harry's transparency, viewing it as a testament to his authenticity and relatability. They appreciated his willingness to bring the public into a conversation that, for many, hits close to home. Yet there were critics too, who perceived this as a breach of royal protocol, a step too far in the direction of public disclosure. The prince didn't stop at discussing his father's health. He ventured into the realm of personal revelations, shedding light on his life in America and the potential of obtaining American citizenship. This too was met with a mix of intrigue and skepticism. The prospect of a British royal becoming an American citizen has certainly ruffled a few feathers, blurring the lines between royal tradition and modernity. As the dust settles on this discussion, the spotlight shines ever brighter on Prince Harry and his wife, Meghan Markle. His candidness, combined with their evolving narrative, has added another layer to the public's perception of the couple. Through it all, one thing remains clear. Prince Harry's openness has stirred the pot, sparking conversations about family, identity, and the boundaries of royal responsibility. Whether this will draw him closer to the public or create further divides remains to be seen. Prince Harry's candidness has certainly added a new layer to the public's perception of him and his family. Moving on to the Duchess of Sussex, Meghan Markle, who never fails to impress with her fashion choices. On the recent visit to Whistler for the Invictus Games events, Meghan once again turned heads, this time with a distinctively chic and expensive Hermes quilted jacket. The 3,000 pounds luxury piece is not just a statement of affluence, but also a testament to Meghan's impeccable taste and independent style. Meg Han, who has always been known for her distinctive fashion choices, seems to have a knack for blending tradition with modernity, much like her evolving role in the British royal family. Her attire at the Invictus Games was no exception. The choice of a Hermes jacket, a brand synonymous with luxury and quality, was a clear nod to her refined taste. Yet, the casual, quilted style of the jacket also hinted at the relaxed, approachable persona she's cultivated since stepping back from royal duties. But the fashion spotlight on Meghan isn't just about the clothes she wears, it's about the statement she makes with her choices. Meghan's fashion is an extension of her personality, her values, and her journey. It's a way for her to express her individuality, her confidence, and her independence. With every outfit, she underscores her evolution from a Hollywood actress to a royal duchess, and now to an independent figure carving out her own path. Adding intrigue to the Sussex's public appearance at the Invictus Games was the speculated presence of a camera crew. This has led to whispers about a possible documentary, which could provide an even deeper insight into Meghan and Harry's life outside the traditional royal framework. Meghan's style choices are more than just fashion statements. They are a reflection of her journey, her persona, and her evolving role in the public eye. As she continues to navigate her life outside the traditional royal framework, her fashion choices provide a fascinating glimpse into her world. Meghan's fashion choices and her engagements continue to reflect her journey and persona, 
adding layers to her and Prince Harry's lives outside the traditional royal framework. Meanwhile, Prince William has made an interesting decision regarding his participation in the upcoming BAFTA Awards. A royal ripple of surprise washed over the public when the Duke of Cambridge confirmed his attendance at the prestigious event, given the initial uncertainty surrounding his participation. This decision, while seemingly straightforward, represents a nuanced shift in royal engagements amid personal and familial considerations. Prince William, as many are aware, holds the esteemed position of BAFTA president, a role that carries significant weight and responsibility. His decision to attend the awards ceremony underscores his commitment to the arts, a sector that has faced considerable challenges in recent years. But this decision is not just about duty. It also carries a personal dimension. In the wake of his father, King Charles III's health challenges, and amidst the recovery of his mother, the Princess of Wales, the Prince's decision to step back into the public eye is both bold and commendable. It's a delicate balancing act, one that requires the Prince to navigate his personal responsibilities alongside his public duties. This move sets a precedent, a testament to the adaptability of the royal family in the face of changing circumstances. It's a nod to the future, a future where the royals continue to evolve and adapt, balancing the weight of tradition with the demands of a rapidly changing world. But let's not forget the implications of William's presence at the BAFTA Awards. His attendance not only highlights his role as BAFTA president, but also puts the spotlight back on the royal family. Reminding us of their ongoing influence and relevance in contemporary society. In the grand scheme of things, Prince William's decision to attend the BAFTA Awards is more than just a diary entry. It's a symbol of resilience, a nod to the future, and a reminder of the royal family's ongoing commitment to their roles, despite the personal and familial challenges they face. As Prince William resumes his public engagements, we are given a glimpse into the royal family's adaptation to changing circumstances and the expectations placed upon them. These recent events involving the British royal family have certainly made waves in the media and public. Prince Harry's candid conversation about his father's health, family dynamics, and his own potential American citizenship has stirred a pot of support and critique. It's a testament to his openness, and it's reshaping how we perceive royal narratives. Equally compelling is Meghan Markle's fashion choices. Her independent style, as showcased at the Invictus Games, underscores her unique role within and outside the royal framework. It's not just about the clothes, it's a reflection of her personal journey and evolving public persona. Meanwhile, Prince William's BAFTA attendance, amidst familial health concerns, signals a delicate balance between personal responsibilities and public duties. It's a nuanced shift, hinting at the royal family's adaptation to contemporary challenges. As we continue to watch these events unfold, we can only speculate how they will shape the narrative of the royal family and their relationship with the public.